Welcome to Practice Strokes today. And we are going to do a stencil. And I want to show you how fun this is going to be. I picked a canvas uh, canvas panel that is the same size as the stencil itself, which is a six by six. These are fun. You can even put an envelope and send them as a gift, really easy through the mail. And then or use it as a greeting card. I'm using multi-surface paint. This is a folk art product. I love multi-surface because it um, goes on metal, wood, canvas, glass. And it also has a beautiful satin finish and it has a sealer in it. So you don't have to put sealers or anything on it afterwards. So this is a cardinal, a holly and cardinal. And I've got my double loader ready. Remember the double loader has a sponge that you can dampen and keep in there and close it up and pop this on our double loader, which will keep the paint fresh over and for whenever you use up all the paint. So this, this idea here I wanted to share with you is uh, something quick and easy. A double loader helps you to load your brush. If you're new out there and you're having a hard time with loading, this is going to make the world of difference for you, okay? So the first thing I want to do is I want to take my painter sponges. Remember, we have two sizes, all right, in a package. And it makes base coating and painting and doing large projects really, really easy. I'm going to take out some of the water because I just cleaned, uh, cleaned these out this morning. All right, so it's pretty damp. But what I want to do is I'm going to pick a little bit of the medium gray and wicker white. And what I want to do, that's a lot of paint for this small surface. What I want to do is do some nice gray tones for the winter in the background. And I'm going to keep picking up white because I got it too gray. Okay, so we're just going to make it streaked, okay? and not try to make it a perfect look. All right, so it just looks like a misty, foggy, cold day, all right? And so I'm just gonna put this into my basin. And these are my tools. I just want you to know, we're gonna be putting up a special where you have the brush basin, the double loader, and there's a lid on this part too, and um, the palette. And all of these tools are going to be a special deal for you. So the plates can go in here, paper or foam. All right, they can go in here and you pop it under here. Or this can go in here and see so you line up those notches, put it under here and drop it in. All right, so there you go. Those tools, actually, I can tell you. Those tools, if you go, this is good till November 6, 2023. And you're going to get 20% off uh, anything that spend 50 or more on onestroke.com. Okay. I just had to share that with you while, while you're all here. We also have the sponges at the same time. So those are tools and the value pack brushes. And I just want you to know that there are products that make painting easy for you. And check out my brushes and check out those tools if you're working on as a newbie, okay? Or if you've never gotten them. All right, so I've got this heat pen that I'm gonna use. And it's better than the blow dryer because it really fast. And I don't want this wet when I'm trying to put my stencil. And this is a brand new tool, so it's pretty exciting. You'll see that. It's called a heat pen. If you're a member of my One Stroke Advantage membership on here, um, on YouTube, you get 20% every month that you're a member off any sale. I mean, any order. It doesn't have to be $50 or more. That's one of your advantages. All right. I was just, I did that on purpose. So I, I can show you. It's the first time I've ever done that. If you stay in one spot too long, see how I'm moving it around? It'll bubble up. So that's the difference in a heat, heat uh, gun or a heat fan. 
So it made a little teeny bubble there. Okay, there you go. Okay, so now I'm gonna put this on here and I'm gonna stencil. Now I'm only using the stencil for a pattern. All right, so you could do it all. Let me show you with this stencil though, how to use the stencil brush. It's a three piece set, it's out of stock until November, the end of November. We have a really big, and I'm not seeing it in here. I must have it in my other room. Um, you have a 20, uh, 16, and a 12 in this set. Okay, so let me show you how we use this. Now we can just come in here, and you only want to paint on the tip of the brush. You're gonna come here and work it off, okay? And you can just do this and only left circle to the left circle to the right i can just use it like this for a pattern only and gray so it's like i drew my pattern on there really quick or you can come in here and i can put white in here and these swirls are in the snowflakes. All right, left and right. I don't usually do it the color of what I'm trying to do. See how that gives you the white? I might use more white actually on there. All right, but I'm gonna just come in here with red and make it a little bit lighter. Left and right, left and right. Now this is just gonna put the pattern down here for us and we're still gonna stroke it, okay? So we have berries in here. I usually, like I said, do the whole thing one color like gray but just so you can get an illusion and help you stay straight on this. We're gonna go left and right. We're gonna do our green. Turn circles one way, then another way. Okay. And then the snowflakes. This is going to help you very quickly have your design, and I'm going to show you how fast it paints. I'm going to go back into white because there's snowflakes here I didn't see. All right, and back and forth. Okay. All right. All right, there we go. All right. Now, see, I got a little heavy on this, and this is what happens. See, it smears it, so you don't get detail like you do if you don't do that. Let's see how it gets my bird and everything on there. All right, so when you clean these brushes, you rake one way. One way, okay? And you also, when you're, I, you can wipe these off, with a little bit of hand cleaner, or I just take, and I've got to lay this here and wipe it a little bit if I'm gonna use it again, because the paint will be on the back and the front. If you're gonna share it, you don't know if somebody's cleaned it well before. Okay, so let's do this really quick. So I wanna show you that I'm gonna come in here and do some of this holly first. And so I'm going to dampen my brush, lay it on the paper towel. I'm going to pick up the two colors, work it in, back and forth. So this is double loading. You're splitting it, and then you're going in one compartment back and forth. Okay, so I'm going to put the dark on the outside. And see, I can just follow that line all the way up. I'm going to come right back in there, pick up some paint. And then I just pull the stem in the middle. Okay, let's pull it again. All right. 
See, that's easy. And then you're going to keep picking up more paint. And some of these, I can put the citrus on the outside. That's going to look pretty good. Put on the outside. All right. Out, out. See, I just stroke it right in that compartment. All right, so it really makes a difference when you're first learning because double loading people say, I how do I keep it from being muddy? And that's why I created the double loader. Okay, so we did a test with a hundred people. 80 of them said my problem is loading. When we came out of this test using the double loader, only 20% said they still had a problem with double loading. So it made it nice. Do you see how easy that is to just follow that pattern? All right, so it just makes the whole process quicker for you. So you don't have to draw it or trace it. You can freehand paint it, but some people don't feel comfortable with that at, at first. Even I think it's kind of fun to have that stencil to lay out my design. Because you can still add some of your own flair to that layout. All right, let's put a little bit of sap. Okay, citrus and sap. Okay. This is a big leaf. Okay. okay. So we've got the green all the way around. And now, before I do the berries, because I'm going to mess up my hands trying to do the berries. I'm going to come over here and pick up red. And so one thing as I do this red, this is apple red, I am going to pick up a side load a teeny bit of asphaltum or brown. Because as I'm coming down here and pulling this down, see, I can, oops, I can pick up the red. And we're going to come all the way down here. And where this is solid is where the black goes. You see that? Which is going to make that so easy for you. All right. So right across the bottom. I'm going to come in here. And you can still follow each one of those strokes. Or you can do just like I did. We're going to come right down here on the chisel. All right, so I'm going to come right in here and put a little bit of brighter color along here. Okay, every once in a while you put a little bit of yellow there. Right across here. All right, now I'm going to put asphaltum and red, and I'm going to push one stroke here, here, and make it come around for the wing. All right, let's go a little bit closer. All right, so we're going to do all these strokes in here. And I'll show you with licorice how we're going to add to this. Okay. All right. 
So, so yeah, it makes it really quick to come in there and do that. We're going to add some black in here with a smaller brush. I'm just going to show you if I take a licorice. See the licorice? I'm going to come right here and do the tips of the tail licorice. Then I can come right in here and do the little bits of the wing. All right, a little bit more and you can see. A few little strokes. See, those are just little U shape. And like right here, I'm gonna pull boom, 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 boom. Just on the tip. All right, and then we have to use a small brush for getting the other section in here. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to come in here with a six. And I'm going to put a little bit of yellow and yellow ochre right in here. All right, so we put a little bit of yellow right in here, the top of this. Beak is yellow. All right. Now I can come in here with a teeny bit of red. And see, we're going to take right in here, bring some of that in the bottom half there. All right. Now I'm going to come with the licorice. And we're going to get right in this little bit right here. And then right here where the eye is, I'm going to come around. And so now what I did do is I didn't cover this whole area. I left where it looks solid red on the stencil because that's going to be where the licorice is going to go. So you don't, it's a no brainer where to put it, right? All right, so now our bird's done, except for a little dot in the eye. And I use our kiss tool, which I get it all mixed up in here. Here it is. It's a wipe away tool. And so you look for that on our site and it'll help you get that. Okay, so one thing is that I can put these dots with a wipe away tool on the snowflakes. This is a rubber tool. It's really awesome. And so you can dot, 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 dot. You start here and dot out. They get smaller as you go. See, and you can add more of these snowflakes. And I'm gonna put a big dot in the middle. Now this got very fuzzy. So I can go around and make little circles. See, I touch and I make a circle, touch and I make a circle. And right here in the middle, I can do a big one. Okay, right here. I'm going to come here and put one little dot in the eye. And what happens when you do a dot and it's too big? You can take that licorice and move it into there. Because it's a wipe weight tool, you can just wipe it away a little bit. All right. So was that a quick, that's a quick cardinal. All right. So now I'm going to take red. And on the handle of the brush, and I'm going to put this in every one of those spots where the berries are. Make a circle, circle, and make it bigger. That's neater there, see? All 
I just want you to see how fun this can be. But quick. And I like to do like three or four of these at the same time. So as you're moving it around, you do and have the brush loaded, you do the same amount of paint as you're going around. All right, so we're going to do this. All right. Now with the same kiss tool, I can now put white and go and touch the little white dot on each one of these. And because it might pick up some red, you can wipe them off occasionally. It's just a glare on the berries. So you wipe it off. You got fresh paint. Okay, so the only thing I would do now is that you have a pattern and you're going to take the script liner and you're going to pick up and roll your brush. I'm not really making this inky with water. Sometimes I do. All right, so this already has a gray. So what you can do is let that be a shadow. Okay, and so you're just going to come on one side and come around, come around this way and this way. So you just put in highlights. But over here, I'm going to go this way and around that way. Okay. That's nice. You can, you can leave that part off if you want, or you can just add more. So you want, you're going to break that into a couple of strokes. One, two, three. All right. All right. There you go. So fun, easy, quick ready for you to give as a gift or do that on a smaller one make it a ornament there you go thank you so much we'll see you next week